on my tombstone, it's gonna say, I deserve to be here because I signed Big Sean. <laughs> Big Sean has just done an explosive interview where he exposed tons of secrets about his relationship with Kanye West and Drake, sending the rap community reeling. Starting off as just a kid freestyling on local radio stations to holding multiple esteemed music awards and creating platinum records all under Kanye West's label Good Music, Big Sean isn't holding anything back in this crazy exposing tell all interview. The famed rap artist appeared on a recent Drink Champs podcast episode, responding to his former record label producer. Kanye's wild comments about signing Big Sean being the worst thing he's ever done. In the explosive interview, Big Sean defended himself in his career decisions against Kanye's comments, revealing some massive personal details about his tumultuous relationship with the Yeezy musician. Please don't forget to like this video and let us know in the comments who you'd like to be featured next on Where Are They Now. Sean Anderson, known for his rap alias Big Sean, was born in Santa Monica, California before moving to Detroit, Michigan when he was only three years old, where he was raised raised by his mother and grandmother. In his later years of high school, Sean began showing off his love of rap music on a weekly rap battle contest held by a Detroit hip hop radio station. Big Sean is characterized for his smooth rap and creative rhyming style. The rapper got his chance at fame in 2005 when he heard that Kanye West would be in town to do a radio interview. Heading down to the station, Sean met West and asked if he could show the multi-platinum artist his freestyling skills. In a 2009 MTV interview, Big Sean explained that he used his relationship with the radio staff to get close to Kanye, who was reluctant at first to listen to the young artist's music. He ended up giving Sean 16 bars to rap for him once Sean explained that Kanye was his hero. Like something out of a movie, Kanye let Anderson rap for him while they walked out of the station. Sean stated about the experience, quote, As we got to the entrance of the radio station, we stopped in the middle of the doorway. He started looking at me and bobbing his head. Kanye later described, quote, I could hear his personality and character and style in it. He just walked up to me and said a rap and I said, I'm gonna sign you. I wasn't signing acts at the time, but I was so inspired by what he did. His voice was very compelling, his lyrics were very clever, and the melodies and the way he was putting it together, and his story. Two years later, Big Sean was signed to Good Music, Kanye West's record label, at the end of 2007. Big Sean would go on to produce mixtapes and albums with the many popular hip-hop and rap artists, including Drake and Kanye. Outside of his rap career, in 2011, Big Sean was arrested at a concert after a 17-year-old girl claimed she was inappropriately touched, and the rapper made unwanted advances towards her. He later accepted a plea deal for misdemeanor counts of unlawful imprisonment. Basically what this means is that legally Big Sean admitted guilt to forcibly holding and restraining the 17 year old, but in pleading guilty all he has to do is pay a $750 fine while the more serious charges were dropped. Personally, Big Sean maintains that he quote, did not engage in any type of sexual misconduct. Outside of his incident with the law, Big Sean has maintained a moderately successful rap career, winning an MTV Music Video Award and a handful of BET awards. He is known mostly for his various romantic relationships with larger celebrities. In early 2013, Big Sean dated the late Glee star Naya Rivera, even getting engaged before they decided to end their relationship in 2014. Later that same year, Big Sean started dating pop superstar Ariana Grande, a relationship that subsequently exposed Sean to fans that would otherwise not have heard his music if they were unfamiliar with rap. They would eventually break up though, only a few months later, citing conflicting work schedules that made it difficult for them to see one another. Sean is now dating Janae Aiko and has been since 2016. Sadly, the couple briefly broke up in 2019 due to a miscarriage that stressed the relationship. They are now reconciled and continue to date. It wasn't until very recently though, on December 18th, that Big Sean shook the rap world by exposing his former record label holder, Kanye West, in a Drink Champs interview. In early November, Kanye West also appeared on Drink Champs, wherein he stated that, quote, when I die, my tombstone will say, I deserve to be here because I signed Big Sean. He also stated that, quote, the worst thing he has ever done is sign Big Sean. Kanye's reasoning behind his disappointment in Big Sean was that when he ran for office in 2020, the Detroit rapper sided with the Democratic Party instead of Kanye. The Yeezy rapper also mentions that he considers both Big Sean and John Legend sellouts for their political decisions and for not supporting Kanye in his bid for the presidency. Fast forward a month when Anderson appears on Drink Champs, Nori expresses his disbelief at hearing Kanye's opinions of Big Sean and how unbelievable it seems that he would feel this way towards a Detroit rapper. Big Sean expresses that at first he felt like it was funny, that 
then he quote, took it personally because I'm the only artist who put out five albums under good music. Big Sean then clarifies that he will love Kanye for everything he has done for him in his rap career, before stating that he thinks it is unfair for him to make such targeted attacks after Big Sean did everything to support Kanye in the studio without credit because of Kanye's role in lifting Sean's career off the ground. All this is well and good typical celebrity beef until Big Sean reveals that he had to spend his own money auditing his label because quote, millions of dollars are missing and you can tell when millions of dollars are missing. Big Sean alleged that he spent hundreds of thousands of dollars finding the missing money, thinking initially that Universal Music owed it to him, but finding out later that the money had been paid to none other than Good Music, Kanye's label. Big Sean then says to his interviewers, quote, if someone owed you $500,000, how would you feel? What if they owed you a million? What if they owed you three million? What if they owed you five million? What if they owed you six? The Detroit rapper claims he felt hurt by Kanye, who is ridiculously rich but doesn't set things right financially. This claim that Kanye owes Big Sean potentially millions of dollars is massive. Sean later states that he was upset by not receiving his six million because quote, you owe me this money that probably ain't nothing to you. That's life changing money to me that could go towards things I'm trying to do. I'm building a movie theater. I'm trying to help my community. Sean also takes shots at Kanye's hypocrisy, posting a tweet stating that right after his Drink Champs interview back in November, Kanye was hanging out with Sean, who stepped away from good music in October of this year, citing the need for a better business deal. Kanye's claims that he would give Big Sean his master recordings to him so that he could rightfully own his own music instead of the record label owning them has also yet to happen. Big Sean further states that he finds it ironic that Kanye would sing the praises of Drake, a man who was quote, talking the most shit and then drag Sean despite him being loyal to a fault. Anderson also insinuates that he feels Kanye wasn't actually mad about the supposed non-endorsement of his presidential campaign, but actually because Kanye felt slighted because Sean refused to feature him on an already completed song that was going up for pre-order the very next day. Sean stated that Kanye was featured on two other songs in the album, but when Ye wanted to be on the third, Drake and Sean both felt it unnecessary to change up an already completed track just to let Kanye feature on it because he wanted to. Despite fitting Kanye into the track, production failed to include it in the final version of the song and it was released without the feature. Something that upset Kanye, who directed his anger towards Sean, even though Sean quote, helped him write the verse. Big Sean was so upset by Kanye's comments that when Kanye attempted to reconcile by meeting with him and his mom to quote, begin healing on both ends, he declined because he felt so humiliated by the comments. Fans reactions to this exposing interview are mixed, some siding with Kanye because of his original outreach he did all those years ago to propel Sean to fame. Others though praise Big Sean for his response to Yee's comments. One Twitter user stated, quote, Not many at his level carry themselves as well as Big Sean does. Spoke on Drink Champs with great articulation, with the right amount of assertiveness and passion. The way he stopped Nori a few times to get his point across and to make sure he felt his point was awesome. And while a lot of media attention surrounding the controversy headlines the money owed as a source of the rift, it seems that during the interview Sean is more concerned with Kanye's disparaging comments and how it seems to disregard the years of history between the two artists. Comments that are likely to cause a big rift between the former friends and collaborators. As of now, Kanye has not responded to Big Sean's call out. Do you think he will? And who do you think was in the right in this situation? Let us know in the comments down below and subscribe for more videos like this. This has been Where Are They Now? I'm your host Sierra. Thank you so much for watching.